let S be a universal set and A be a fixed subset of S. If A intersection B equal to B holds for all subsets B, prove that A equal to S. Now, we have to prove this. So, if possible, let A not equal to S. Then we will get a contradiction. So, then our assumption, these assumptions will be false. So, we prove A equal to S. Now, if possible, let N not equal to S. This implies A complement obviously not equal to phi. Suppose this is universal set S. This is A and this is A complement obviously. Now, a not equal to S. So, obviously a complement is non-empty. Let X belongs to a complement. This implies X belong, belongs to does not belongs to A. This implies so X belongs to a complement. So, obviously X does not belongs to X. Now, this implies X does not belongs to A intersection B because A intersection B contains those elements X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Now here X does not belong to A. So obviously X does not belong to A intersection B. Now this implies X. Now A intersection B equal to B. So obviously X does not belong to B because if two sets are equal they contain same element. Now X does not belong to A intersection B. So obviously X does not belong to B by given condition and this was for all subsets B of universal set S. So, for all subsets B of S. Now, we get X does not belongs to B, but for all subsets B of S. Now, since X X belongs to this A complement, so suppose X is this. Now, since X is an arbitrary element of S obviously universal set because a com both A complement are subset of S and X belongs to A complement so obviously X is an arbitrary element of S. Now since X is an arbitrary element of S so X must belong to X must belong to at least one subset B of S. Now obviously X belongs to at least one subset B of S. This is S, this is A, but suppose this, 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 this. So X belongs to at least one subset B of S, obviously. But that if x belong to at least one subset b of s that contradicts the fact that x does not belongs to b for all subsets b of s. So, this line contradicts the fact that X does not belong to B for all subset B of S. So, our assumption is false because X must belong to at least one subset B of S. But this contradicts this. X does not belong to B for all subset B of S. So, our, so our assumption assumption is false 
हेन्स ए इक्वल टू एस दिस एजम्शन इज फॉल्स सो ऑबियसली हेन्स ए इक्वल टू एस so we proved this if you like this video please share subscribe and comment